Today is a beautiful special day that we're introducing. We are situated on the outskirts of Johannesburg at the Nerox Sculpture Park, the cradle of humankind. Just after the box winning the World Cup, we're feeling like champions. So it's time to show off, showcase our beautiful spaces within Johannesburg. And we are right here at the residence of uh, Daniel and Clementine. And I'm talking, you know, the founders and owners of Tuto and Baba G. There'll be some nice, lovely paella cooking there, which is one of Daniel's famous, famous dishes that is well known for within the whole region of Johannesburg. What a beautiful morning today that has brought us up right here to Nerex. Sculpture Foundation Park. A beautiful space with beautiful food and we're looking forward to a beautiful spread. Let's go inside and see what Daniel has got in store. It's looking, yeah, it's looking amazing. I didn't suspect to be this good, you know? <laughs> No, I mean, that's, yeah. it's looking fantastic down there. They really are done themselves. Completely, completely. Mm. And the team? Team-wise, uh, so I've got Amaze that's here. Mm -hmm. Sakura is here. We've got a few people out. Magadi is Magadi Magadi we're busy offloading now, so I've got uh, some capsicum students that are okay, here okay. and that are going to be helping us throughout the day. Oh, awesome. And essentially, there's nobody else from the We've got a full to house of events today, so it's, uh, it's me. It's going to be fine. This is the damn show today. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hello. 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 This is our space on every weekend. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, you need to get used to our faces now. I will, yeah. I should, hey? Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Is your, is, your, is your car here with ingredients and supplies? Do you need some help? Uh, we're just actually busy offloading right now. So, that's where all these ingredients are. Uh, Amaze has become an uh, amazing how cute. <laughs> how are you? I'm good, how's it? I'm good, thank you. Daniel, it's been a, it's been, it's been, it's been a journey and a half, it certainly you know. Has. And I'm thinking like, uh, I met you when 2013, you know? Yeah, I think 2013. Yeah, I think yeah. we had only been we, just before we got our food truck. Yes, I yes. put an ad on Gumtree. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It was an ad on Gumtree. I responded to that. You Looking know? for an entrepreneur, wanting to help run. One of Josie's first food trucks. Mm, I remember. Something I remember. along the lines. Along those lines. And it was the food trucking part that got me. I was like, ah, thank God I'm not in the kitchen, you know, outdoor vibe. I think this is it, you know? Yeah. It was an energy thing. I felt it. And, and, um, and from there, it was, uh, you know, I found myself in a space of, uh, you know, this guy with big pans and stuff, you know? And he's doing paella. And I'm like, hmm. I remember this from the hotel school, you know? It was one lesson, but yeah. I think I like this, you know. How has it been since then? You know, I mean, it's actually, tell me what made you leave, like, I remember you were in, in a corporate space, you know, and then, right. you, and then you then you, sort of took that leap and uh, yeah, it, it just, it just tell us from there, you know, from that point that you left corporate and, and stuff, you know. I, I didn't feel it at first on the food side. Yeah. The food side is, is something that, that came from my wife, my life partner, Clementine, Clemmy. Yeah who you know so well and love and 
she's the one who really, throughout school and throughout varsity, you know, we dated from when we were 17. And since the beginning, since I knew her, her family has been food obsessed. Every Sunday, Sunday lunch, family ritual. What all they did was eat. That's it. <laughs> Yeah. We got together and, you know, I would usually get to the house 10, 11 o'clock. There'd be cooking production underway and it was always something different. You know, they, they experimented with a lot of recipe books, with a lot of chefs, mm -hmm. with a lot of different cuisines. So there was always something new and we were always together experimenting, yeah. cooking. Yes. And her love for that really grew from, from her family. And wow. my love wow. for food grew through her family and through her family's love. So, I mean, we, we started in the corporate landscape, yeah. working directly after school. Mm -hmm. Clemmy was in PR. Yes. She was dealing mainly with healthcare companies and dealing with corporate communications. Yeah. And I was in the banking world. One weekend in our early days of corporate life, yeah. <coughs> jet-setted down to Cape Town, spent some time with some friends, and they had started a paella business a few years ago, okay. cooking at the old biscuit mill down in Cape Town. Yes. And I was just talking to them about the business, about yeah. life as an entrepreneur. Yeah. And they mentioned that they were going to be opening up something in Joburg, okay. same sort of market um, in Bramfontein. I remember those bosses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the originals. Yes, yes. I mean, they're still doing what they're doing and they've still got fabulous businesses down in Cape Town. We've still got a great relationship with them. Yeah. But we really started on that basis of working as, as people who said, we'll do it. We'll, we'll do the Joburg operation. You can show us how, how it works. Yeah. You teach us how to cook paella. We've never cooked a paella in our lives before. Yes, yes. We had also, same as you, we'd heard about it, we'd seen it, yes. but we'd never done it before. Yes. And they set us up with the basics that we needed, mm. a few tiny pans and a cooler box and a little bit of money to start up. Yeah. Like I think yeah. it was 2,000 Rand. Mm to get some floats and to get a, a, the, first, the first stock levels yes. in order. And we started on the weekends. We started just cooking on Saturdays mm -hmm. and we were doing that for a few months. Yeah. Just working our corporate jobs, working on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden somebody wanted to start up a, well, M Maboneng was already running their arts yes. and main market. Mm -hmm. And I said to Clemmy, well, let's try to do another one on Sundays too. Yeah. So we started doing that. Yeah. And all of a sudden, people saw us doing it and they said, well, can you come and do it for my office? And can you come and do it at, at, at our house? Yeah, yeah. We said yes. Mm. We started cooking, started learning, started yes. making mistakes. Yes. And eventually it, it just grew to a point, snowballed with the private side, mm. with mm. cooking in people's houses and in businesses, that we were stretched so thin by working a corporate life and, yeah. and living that life, but on... On our, on, on our own time, yeah. starting this business, yeah. which we, we had no idea at that stage was going to be a business. Nairo Sculpture Park, it's a beautiful space. We took a, a walk this morning and uh, we were really amazed at how, hey amen, how gloriously green it is, you know. And, uh, you know, so food wise, you know, um, I mean, I know you for really good quality food, really fresh uh, salads, uh, you know, and seasonal ingredients. I know you care about your whole supply chain, you know, because that's where you're also able to develop some, uh, you know, some good products as well, you know, but uh, from a food perspective, we come, I mean, we drive all the way out here, you know, 20 minutes away from Northgate, 45 minutes away from the city center. As soon as we arrive here, how do you feed us? How do you, I mean, please just let us uh, indulge us, indulge us, tell us. Well, look, menu wise, I think, uh, our Baba G menu, uh, which has developed through our, our presence in Ilovo, mm. it's a, a concept that is Afro-Mediterranean. So yes. the, we call it that because it's a lot of North African flavors, Moroccan flavors, Egyptian flavors mm. that combine with some of the South Southern European things like yeah. chicken rotisseries yes. um, and a lot of uh, Italian and French inspired, you know, Provencal inspired dishes too. Yes. But all use very similar ingredients. Yeah. All have very similar basic principles of mm. cooking. That's the backbone of what we offer on a weekly basis out at Nyrox. Yeah. 
Today, when there's a big festival, there are other people on the property as well and other businesses, other menu items that, uh, you know, we, we've got our, our paella, which is here, which is also a part of what we're doing today. Uh, we do amazing toasted sandwiches in the paella pans, cooked right in front of your eyes, uh, gooey melted cheese, like w with great free range chicken mixed with peri peri and mayonnaise. Um, you know, we've got Shea, who are some of, the, uh, some of the original market people as well, mm -hmm. whose business has grown amazingly and yes. uh, they, they owned a, a restaurant in Maboneng, recently moved to Parkwood. Yeah. They specialize in Argentinian style meat. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got an asado here, so you've got hardwood, flame cooked, Nice, nice, different nice, nice. cuts of meat yes. that are available with a, an, a, an amazing spread of their of their Argentinian salads mm, too. Mm. Uh, we've got people like the sushi bus here today yes. helping to diversify the palate as well. Mm, mm. Uh, there, there's a pop-up restaurant in the poplar forest. I'm going to let you go and explore yes, and yes. see exactly what's happening there. Yeah, a little yeah. private nook mm. and Essentially, yeah, the good, wholesome food, that's what we're offering all around. You know, the, the, the Argentinians at Shea are, are specialists in what they do. Awesome. They take meat to another level. Yeah. And I think in, as, as a combination with the Babaji wholesomeness, yeah. uh, the Tuto Paella side, and, and what Shea's offering just yeah. on its own, yeah. there's an amazing spread. Awesome. You know, I definitely see the, uh, how everything comes together because one thing that people forget is that people within this space, are really true and passionate to their journey. I mean, the influences in your food, they are based on where you come from originally and who you are as a couple, you know, you and Clemmy, French, Italian, South African, mm -hmm. you know. So it all comes back together and uh, it shows that definitely moving forward, everything is tuto, meaning wholesome, you know. And this place provides you with that, a wholesome experience. In the meantime, to be honest with you, I'm very happy that we're in this space today. We're invited by you and we are your guests as well. And let's look forward to one hell of a day. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Nerox Park. Thank you uh, for finally arriving. I know that uh, it took you a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of a while to get yourself together in the morning, but we're here now, you know. And uh, the day is beautiful. You know, people are dressed in, uh, you know, earth-toned uh, attire, earth-toned colors. And this is a beautiful space to be in today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what a beautiful sunny day in Gauteng. We're in the west of the Gauteng region next to the World Heritage Site called the Cradle of Humankind. Mm -hmm. So when you put things in context, that kind of just lifts you up yes. a little bit. Yeah. So we're on a 20 hectare property owned by the Nerox Foundation Trust, a trust that has been built to support the arts. Mm -hmm. And if you think about the, you know, the, the, the world of food, yes, food yes, is not yes. just what we eat for nutrition, but it is also an art form. Mm -hmm. And today we're here for the Art Botanica event exactly, taking place exactly. from 10 to 7 in the evening mm -hmm. and we're just going to have a beautiful long table with our friends have a bit of a ball celebrate food exactly. celebrate brotherhood collaboration and relationships that's what that's all about in keeping with the spirits of the rugby world cup and uh, how we want it and the unity in there this space embraces embraces unity of a cosmopolitan culture, of a cosmopolitan nature. And when you look at the type of people that are coming in and out of this space, the type of people that are dressing up for this event of just, you know, being in touch with nature, this is what we call the future reflection of what South Africa should be, you know. This is, uh, you know, a beautiful, uh, you know, collaboration of uh, society, to call it, you know. And also connecting to food and also the natural spaces of nature. I mean, Buso, I mean, we've seen, we've seen uh, different festivals out there. Uh, we've seen the type of crowds that they pull, but this is not the space for crowds and being crowded, you know? Uh, I mean, what do you really pick up from this? You know, that, you know especially the use of space. Mm, mm, mm. People don't expect a crowd when they come here. Exactly, I mean, it's Nerox Sculpture Park. It's a place that is laden with works of art, 
uh, all over the trees, lying on the grass. It's spaced out over 20 hectares. It's not about feeling the hustle and bustle of Johannesburg. It's about decompressing, being out in the open yes. and just enjoying this lush and beautiful space that we find ourselves in. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I'm looking forward to here today is getting away from the grills that we normally are on as Cookie yeah. Soul. We're normally on the front lines, <laughs> burning our fingers and hands. Yes, yes. And honestly, to have one of our fellow brothers in the food game say, come over here. Let me host you and your guys. Let's sit down. Let's talk about the future. Yes, yes. For me, that is a pertinent conversation, collaboration, getting together, taking a step back. Yeah. and enjoying the people around me and having some, someone else serve us for once. We're always on the service line. So that's one thing I'm really chuffed about today. Now, uh, in keeping with the festivities of the day, the long table is going great. We got uh, friends and colleagues talking and laughing in the background. Food is being uh, eaten right now. Food is being had. There's a variety of flavors. We, you might as well call it the seven colors table because they are having a little bit of everything and it's a joyous, joyous, joyous moment. I mean, just take a look for yourself. This is what we create. This is the souls that we inject in people. Just take a look. Just take a look at this, you know? Just take a look at that, you know? Happy people, happy souls, beautiful day, beautiful uh, uh, sight, beautiful uh, 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 occasion. What more do you need? What more do you expect? Cook your soul. One thing that I've discovered about this space is that it's not commonly known. It's not common to your yeah. usual, uh, you, know, uh, 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 you know, Johnny Walker on the streets of Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a perfect reason for that. It's not known because, first of all, it's an exclusive venue, you know. It's a hidden jam, you know. It's one of those places that is not, uh, you know, easily common to the common man. But for someone that is searching for a certain feeling, a feeling of really feeding your inner being, you know, this is a space that you find on the city outskirts of Joburg, literally just about 40 minutes away, you know. And, uh, you know, I believe, uh, Mbuso, you can, you know, further expand on that as well in terms of, you know, why isn't it well known, you know? Do we want it to be well known? I don't know, but it is a hidden gem. Yeah. Yeah, well, in context of all the craziness, I mean, this is the city of gold, I mean. You know, we, we come here in droves from the Eastern Cape, from the Northern Province. We come here trying to find our part of gold whatever that part of gold means to us, yes. using your talents, so on and so forth. And if you think about it, we travel. We travel to Cape Town, we travel yes. to Durban. Mm -hmm. We travel so far to go and find a space where we can decompress. Yes. So for a change, I mean, think about it. Within the hour, you have a hidden gem. Just a stone throw away from your house that sometimes you don't think about. And this is a beautiful place for us to come to. You can decompress without having to go too far, without having to travel thousands of kilometers and you can find exactly what you're searching for in terms of that sense of peace, decompressing, coming down, having excellent food. And uh, that's a beautiful place. And another thing that I love about this place is, can you imagine, this place only opens on Sundays. Yeah. Officially so, on a Sunday. Today's a Saturday, so we do events here on Saturdays at Nerox Sculpture Park. So what's interesting about it is that, yeah. is, you, know, you know that lovely balance between conservation and usage? It shows where does our respect lean. It's a green planet. We are moving towards preserving the beautiful spaces that we find here. Yes. So hence, we don't want to tread this land aggressively. So we tread it softly, which is the beauty of the day. Hence people in their earth tones, looking calm, in the white, not intrusive. What an immaculate hidden gem. The story of this place needs to be told. People need to pull through here every Sunday. You will find a beautiful layout here at Baba G's, Nikki's, and Cooking Soul. It's going to be entering the picture. You just watch the space. Firstly, the space 
space always gives me space. Oh, I see it. It's, a, it's a very inspirational space. Like, if I spend a week here, I will have work. If I spend time here, my thoughts are clearer. Um, besides the nature and the fact that like, it gives you a chance to hear the internal artistry, it's just stunning to be here. It's inspiring. Thank you, Sean. So yeah, I don't know, I love this place. The other thing that's really great about it is that it always makes space for collaborations. So the Narex Art Foundation is what usually invites us to be here as artists. But just taking a walk, you know, looking at the sculptures, looking at the fact that man-made things are communicating to you know, nature and, and the fact that this conversation is actually an ongoing and beautiful and natural thing. So I love this place. This is how we end the day. We've got our friends with us. We've got a lovely park. And, uh, you know, winding it down to a musical experience is the best thing ever. A day of relaxing, a day of just kicking it out, in touch with nature, you know. This is how you tend to really come to appreciate South Africa for what it is, you know. It's like Wayne even in Gauteng, but this is it. The city of gold, hidden gems, beautiful spot, beautiful day. It was wonderful, man. It was wonderful. <laughs>